We begin tonight with mail carriers in Metro Detroit delivering an urgent message as they face an increasing threat of crime on the job. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Duffy. In the first half of this year, the Postal Service says over 300 carriers were robbed on their routes across the U.S., a pace that could easily beat last year's total of 412. Tonight, some local carriers are among the victims, joined a rally in downtown Detroit to raise awareness. 7 Action News reporter Rua Olsenida has their fight against crime. After the dramatic increase in letter carrier assaults and robberies, the National Association of Letter Carriers got together in downtown Detroit to say enough is enough. And we're not going to tolerate folks messing with our letter carriers. The message clear as day Monday evening. Enough is enough. The National Association of Letter Carriers holding a rally to raise awareness on the assaults and robberies of those who deliver our mail every day, rain or shine. It's created you know, an additional level of stress to what's already a pretty stressful job. Brian Renfro is the president of the union that's over 280,000 members strong. He says two things need to happen to help with this growing problem. Stronger prosecution of those who attempt to harm a postal worker and newer technology of the mail keys that these criminals are after to then steal your personal information. It's something Matt McBee wants to see because he is a victim himself. I almost didn't go home, so this is hard to talk about. Last July, he was on his usual route near 12 Mile and Telegraph in Southfield when he realized something was very wrong. I hear a noise and I, I, and I didn't really think much of it because I thought it was just somebody playing joke on me. I look up again and, and, I, and I feel a gun on my head. The two suspects getting away with his keys and his sense of safety on the job. It's a trauma that I got to live with for the rest of my life and I don't think it's ever going away because I, I still I still hear noises. I still see things sometimes out of the corner of my eye. Most recently in Northville Township, just a couple weeks ago, a similar situation happening to Tran Doe, who was just nine months into her new job. I never think it happened to me and I, I, I couldn't breathe when I think about it. Clearly shaken up and traumatized, these mail carriers say something needs to happen, especially before the holiday season when more mail and packages are on the move. This violence against our members must stop. In this union, these postal workers letter carriers say they will continue this fight until some real change happens. In Detroit, Riddle Sinaida, 7 Action News.